What up people? This is Bonjo and I'm just out here in the beautiful sun. I'm a little overdressed again, but the weather changes so rapidly in the in the winter here. I'm gonna catch some limpets and some sea urchins and show you guys how to cook them. Yeah, this is Bonjo. This is the Bonjo show. This is not your show. I traded the 905 for G O O Bo. This is Bonjo show. Scrambled eggs and sea urchins. Mmm, how tasty it's gonna be with some fried limpets. So I brought my knife to peel them off. I took a wipe out. I fell on my ass. I'm soaking wet and the wind is freezing. Woo! But I got my little beauties. See them? Four of them. I'm just gonna collect four of them and make scrambled eggs with sour cream. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna go catch my limpets. On my way to get the limp to get the limpets, I just want to say uh, this is fresh from the sea, straight to the plate, straight to my belly. No process, just progress, my friends. It's gonna be so delicious. Actually, it's gonna be my first time trying this. Uh, that was my first time. The other video was my first time trying sea urchin. Period. So this will be my first time trying it cooked. And limpets, I never tried at all. So this will be my first time for that too. So it'll be a reaction video plus a cooking video. Woo, let's get into it now. I'm just onward, onward, onward. Shh, be very, very quiet. I'm haunting limpets. <laughs> no, yeah, but you gotta use a knife to peel them off the rock and to uh, sneak up on them. Cause once they hear you or see you, they lock up on the rock and it's a bitch to get off. So let me do some magic. I'm just gonna catch three and try them. See? There's my limpets. There's my silk boot. And uh, these damn K, Tim K trekking boots, man. I slipped on my ass on my rock again. Pulled my damn shoulder. <laughs> limpets, hard ones to catch, dangerous games. But uh, here the little saucy fellas are, and uh, they're gonna be burnt. Burn, baby, burn! What's up? This is uh, this is Bonjo Francis. My friends call me Francis, say, cause I say too much. <laughs> now, if you're in Croatia as an expat or tourist and are on a budget or just want to try something new, uh, you can try this. This recipe is totally free. It's fresh cut from the sea. Uh, and if you happen to come across a farmer, ask him for a couple eggs, or just go to the local store and buy one, buy a pack of six eggs for uh, about a dollar. So this is all, so we're gonna use butter, eggs, sour cream, usually we use fresh, and a pinch of salt, and some sea urchins. And this is how you make scrambled eggs with sour cream and sea urchins. First, you gotta cut these things. Like this, just put ya like this, just put it like this. Like this, cut. And have a empty bowl for your leftovers. And this is what you're gonna look like. This is the little ex the inside skeleton. This is what moves it, and it moves as you cut it. And this is what it looks like after you cut it. It has all the ooh, all the ooey and gooey's. So basically, what you're gonna do is <clears throat> wash all the black stuff off and try to get like all this black stuff. That's what you want off. Hold on, let me get some water here. And you just get the good old sea water. I got this from the sea. And then uh, wash all that stuff out. All the black stuff out.
And then once you get all this black stuff out, you uh, proceed to grab these little orange things out. Like this, all these out. All these little sacks out, see that? And those are what, what you're really eating. You grab a little mini spoon like that. Little sea mango. And you're left with nothing. You throw that out. And you move on to your next one. So let me cut all these up and get back to you. This is all waste. This is all the waste. All the empty sea urchins in there. And this is the meat. Now what you want to do with this is chop it up. But first I'm going to clean the cutting board so there's no venomous spikes on them. Now you're going to want to get all these nice and clean. And chop them up. And then leave them to the side like that. They're going to be a nice little goo. And then we're going to turn our heat on. Ba -ba. And uh, get some butter on this. Oh, shit. Like this. We got butter. Get it all melty on there. Woo-wee! Make sure it's all nice and melted. And turn the heat back off. Because we're going to return that. Uh, put our stuff to the side and grab our eggs. We uh however many you want. I'll use I'll use four of them. Now we got our eggs. See that four eggs? Don't mix them. We got our dollop of sour cream or fresh. Now we turn our heat back on. And then you proceed to mix them in here. See that? And we go like this. We proceed to mix them like that. We can grab a pinch of salt. I, I like to use the pink Himalayan salt. See this? You mix them in the pot or in the pan. And you keep mixing them until they're nice and fluffy. This is the Bunjo Show. This is Nile Show. I traded the Nile from Fochi Oh. Oh, I went for a lovely hike. I went to go get some, I went to go catch and uh, serve these to myself, you know? There's nothing like living by the sea when you can just reach in the water and grab some uh, sea urchins or uni as the Japanese call them and uh, peel some of these limpets off the rocks or just sit there and fish or grab a little uh, boat and go uh, squidding. It's beautiful.
Now uh, let me get these all mixed up. Ooh. See as they're getting fluffy, a little more, and then you can drop the sea urchins in. Ooh, these are perfectly fluffy. We're almost there. Now you can grab the sea urchins like this and drop them in. And now you can mix those babies in there. And you got scrambled eggs with sea urchins. And now I'm gonna pop some toast in the oven and show you how it's done. And see that? That's perfect scrambled eggs with sea urchin and, and sour cream on toast. It's actually a perfect little treat for the mornings. I mean, you gotta keep the sea urchins fresh though, because once they get a little uh, old and start decaying, they ain't tasting good. So here we go. Let's try this. Mmm. Oh man, that's the best. Oh man, that's so good. If you like. If you want a little spice or a little different taste to your eggs, go to your local seafood shop, go to your local sea or ocean, pop a couple of these babies in. The little orange sacks. Uh. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes. Yes. I love when I do good, man. Mm. Yes. And uh, next up is limpets. Let's check that out. Now next up is these limpets. All you're gonna do is grab them out of your fresh uh, sea water. Where's the other little sucker? Right here. Mm. Throw some olive oil on it. Heat that baby up. Wait till it gets hot, and um, and then plop these babies upside down on it. And how you tell if these are ready? They basically fall off the shell pretty easy. Let me see this. Hey, let me. And that's all they basically do. And you don't want to overcook these things. And you don't want to overcook them. See how they're kind of shrinking? Uh, they'll basically just fall off the shell because the shell's too hot. When they fall off the shell, when they easily come off the shell, that means they are done. Like this one. See how that one's off the shell? That one's off the shelf. So look it. And that's how they look. See how easy they come off the shelf? And you want to remove this, uh, this black. See this black stuff here? You want to remove that. And then, look it. So after you remove that black and you got this little piece left, I don't like it. Uh, tastes like escargot or something. Same thing. 
I just killed three innocent lives. The sea urchins and these limpets probably think I'm the Jeffrey Dahmer, Ted Bundy of the sea. God damn, I just murdered them for no reason. I ate one of them, but, and I ate the other guys, the little prickly fucks. But these ones, if you like boogers, I'll try it again. Let me give it another go. It's just the texture feels like. Um, uh, I can't eat that. The texture is, feels weird, man. Whew. I don't like it, but you guys might like it. Damn. Oh, this is Bunja signing off. Crack cans too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy and it hurts. This is Bunjo. Cat wear meow. Cat wear meow. This is Bunjo's cat wear meow.